In this video, we're going to be discussing how to place linear dimensions. Now, you can access this tool a number of different ways. From your main tool frame, if you're using this, you'd go down to the Dimensions Toolbox, hold the button down, slide out, choose the dimension tool you want to use, in this case, Dimension Linear. Or, if you're using the Task Navigation, I can move this out. Under the F key, you could see there's Dimension Linear. I also could use the letter F on my keyboard. That would bring up those same tools. If you're using the right click or context menu, I can hold down the right button, go to annotation tools, go to dimensioning tools, and again, it's located there. Number of ways to get to it, your choice. On the tool settings window, we have dimension styles. Now you have two basic dimension styles you can work with. These can be edited, changed to what you'd like. But we've got D dash extension lines, this means create a dimension with extension lines, and then D dash no extension lines. The extension lines are the, the vertical lines that the arrowhead or terminators go to. So we're going to use D dash extension lines. On the tool settings window, you have an option here to do linear size, which is what we're going to do, or I could also create stack dimensions. That's another video. So looking at my tool settings window, first thing it asks me is to select the start of dimension. I'm going to do a horizontal dimension across three different points. I select the start of dimension, do a left click or data. Now in the status bar, it's asking me to select dimension endpoint. Don't be concerned with where the text is going. Just move your cursor to the endpoint, locate that endpoint, do another left click or data. Now on the tool settings window or status bar, you're being asked to define the length of the extension line. This is where the text is going to go. I'll do another data or left click. At this point, I can continue dimensioning, which I'm going to do by just moving my cursor to the next location, do another left click, and again, if I wanted to continue, I could, but I'm just going to go back to the start by hitting the right button on my mouse. That's a horizontal dimension. Now, if I wanted to do a vertical dimension, same process, just pick the start point. By moving my cursor up to this location, I'm indicating to MicroStation that we're doing a vertical dimension. So I'd locate again the end point, locate the extension line or text location. I could press reset or the right button to go back to start or I could continue on. I'll put the dimension to another point here and now I'm done. I'll hit reset and those are the basics. Now we can do a lot of different types of dimensions. We can modify them, things like that. Those are going to be in the additional videos. So stay tuned.